So what I'm going to do here um, for the first time, I'm going to create a tutorial um, for YouTube on how to create the uh, Squid Games uh, coffin. So there are not too many good references on Google. So I found the one as closest that I can find. And I'm going to show you guys my approach on how I would do it. Um, again, it's not the only way to do it, but this is my approach. Um, basically, um, I'm just going to do the whole thing. You guys can see where I click and what I do. Um, I'll try to explain as best as I, as, as I can, but here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I believe what I have is going to be used as a top view. So I'm going to put import image. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Sort it by date modified, and it should be this one. Okay, so now as you can see, this is a top reference image. It's not perfect, um, but we can more or less try to get the best we can out of it to make it into what we want. So I'm going to try to place it in the middle here, this line here in the middle from the grid as close as possible. And I'm going to try to center the bow there. So you see, this line is crooked. I'm going to try to rotate that to get it straightened out as much as I can and I think that is good enough. I'm gonna slide it over and I'm gonna put the ball right in the middle of the of the grid and I'm gonna push it down far and I'm gonna just leave it there. So number one um, we know that it's just a simple lid over a box so we're gonna start with the box. Here I'm gonna make this x-ray and I'm going to turn on wireframe version. I'm going to scale it at least to the width here that I want which uh, I think that's good enough. I'm going to uh, right click take the vertex. I'm going to line it, line it up here and then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it beyond the screen because the body wouldn't fit in that little piece. I'm sure it's a bit longer. Um, so let's say we are happy with this. I'm going to right click object mode. So let's say this is the whole coffin. Um, I know this by memory, um, but I'm just going to let you guys know. So I'm going to go mesh, uh, mesh tools into edge loop. I'm going to click the little box here, make sure that it's reset. And so first the lid is about that much. Let's go here. And then there's another piece here in the bottom that extrudes. Like I said, I'm, I'm not seeing it here, but I know from memory. So let's do the bottom first. The uh, spacebar brings you into one of the, the selections of the view, viewports. So let's go here. I'm going to press face, click once, shift, double click, and it should wrap around. And then here, the thing, I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, you know what? Yeah. Let me do this this way. So Command E, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit because it has a little bit of width according to what the film shows. Object mode. Sorry guys, so object mode, and that's done. So that's the little base that you're gonna see in the movie if you look at it closely. And then the next thing is the lid. I'm gonna have to separate the lid from the box, extrude it and bring it down. So let's do this. So let's say edge, click, Shift double click, it's going to wrap around. Shift right click, and we're going to put detached components. Right click object mode. And then with the object selected, we're going to go mesh separate. So now we have the box and we have the lid. So let's do this. So now, since we have this lined up already, what we're going to do is we're going to take the lid and we're going to press. Command E. That's for extrude. So what we do is let's put it at an angle where we can see what's going on. We're going to pull it out just a bit because it's not that thick. I think that's enough for me. Object mode. And now if we see, we can push. If we press W, we get the, the selection um, icon with W is for moving up and down left and right 
E is ro um, to rotate in, in different directions, and R is to scale. So right now we're doing W. And I'm going to see if I did this correctly. If I push, uh, yeah, so see if I push down, you can see that I'm closing the coffin. So we got that out of the way. Um, before I do anything else, I'm going to press Shift Command S. Um, I'm working out of Squid Game Tug of War uh, game room, and I'm going to add this into it. So I'm just going to put um, Squid Games Coffin. Press enter to save it. Remember to save frequently with Maya. Sometimes there's things that make it actually uh, crash. And if you didn't save anything, um, you could be out of luck and have to do everything over. So right now, let me hide the lid first. So with H, I hide the lid. I'm going to select the base of the coffin. Um, I'm going to select these edges here, edge. So by double clicking, it selects all the edges. If I just click once, it selects one edge. If I double click, it picks all of them. I'm going to press Command E for extrude. And I'm going to push this in some so we can get depth. Command E and then press W because I want it to come straight down. I don't need to do anything else. And once I get to maybe around, let me go to a side view and get some X-ray going on. So, okay. So let's say this is far enough. I'm going to push it. Uh, I think that's good. I don't think I'm going to have any issues. And then with all the, since everything's still selected, you're going to press shift, right click, and you're going to get, fill the hole. Voila. So that's ready to fill in. Now important, guys. You have to select your edges and bevel them because if, let's say, for example, you're going to, um, add any type of um, smoothness or anything, this is what's going to happen. This is not what we want to happen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on the, the pointer arrow here, space bar. So most of these corners I want to bevel. Yeah. So I'm just going to select all the corners because I want them all to have some type of bevel, even these little ones here. I'm going to get as close as I can. I'm going to shift right click, bevel the edge. So now I'm going to add one extra segment and I'm going to fraction it a little tighter than what it is. Because even if we zoom in, we can still see, you know, that we can separate it later when we do the, which I don't think is really necessary. It's a simple black coffin with a, a coffin with a black bow. I mean, with a pink bow. I apologize. So we can do a point two if we want. Point two, and we get a real tight corner. Click out, um, right side, right click object mode, and this is what we get. So we get a nice tight corner all around. It looks like a nice coffin. I'm not gonna fill it up on anything yet. I might do it later on, but for now, it's not necessary. Um, so here we go. So now I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna unhide by pressing H. You can H H hide and the same H on hides. So let's do this. We're going to command S, which is to, con to save controller command. And I'm going to go edit, delete or by type history, edit, delete by type non-deformer, modify free transformations, modify center pivot, and we're going to save it again. Now for the lid, I'm going to do the same thing I did to the bottom. As you can see, the lid let me turn on the shadow so you see what I'm trying to talk about. So when I press the lid down, if it's perfectly on the outside, you know, of the of the actual box, if you want to see how deep you can go, you can go to the side view here, it's side X. And then what you can do is just push down on the lid until you see that it touches right here. You see there's a small separation where the where the it's wider, that means that's the other mesh, and this green line is what I'm selecting. So I'm going to push it to, let's say, there. Voila, right now I'm happy with this. I'm going to press Command-1, because I only want to see this here. Command-1 just isolates whatever mesh you're working on. So now let's do the same thing we did with the bottom. I'm going to shift arms, um, right-click, edge. Select all the edges, 
shift right click bevel edge um let's see how tight this is okay this is tight so we not might we might not have to do any more any more fracturing but this is good i think let me see object mode perfect we don't want to add we don't want to make it too thin so when we do the uh the uv in if we're ever going to do it it's going to get messed up so now i'm happy with this so let's say this is the top and the bottom so we'll click on it double click we're going to call it coffin spacebar top let's replace that let's call that lid sorry guys let's call this spacebar lid click on the bottom double click on the name here and call this coffin base command s like i always say keep saving things in general we're going to call this the coffin command s so now we're going to try to make this bow i'm going to try to get as close as i can so there's a few ways to approach this these two that cross you can just simply take uh, you know what let's not do that so let's do this let's um I'm sorry, I don't want that there. So let's say um, I want to take this. You know what? Can we do it like this? Should we do it like? Because we're gonna have to separate it anyway. Okay, let's do it like this. So we're gonna take a square, and we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do the whole bow, and then we're gonna cut it and have it separate. For what I'm seeing, this bow is the, the coffin and this is much thicker, so I'm going to click Vertex. I'm going to W this. I'm going to move it over because you see that the pinks, it's all the way here. So let's do this. Okay, no, this is not working for me. So I'm going to do Object Mode. Select both mesh, meshes, Mesh Combine right click vertex we're going to take all these vertices here we're going to push it to where the pink ends object mode we're going to delete uh, no you know what it's not working for me either anyway let's keep it like this so i don't waste you guys time let's just keep it like this so with this cube we'll worry about the width later on it's a bit wider but i i won't worry about that for now so let's take this cube so you see that the cube is in here. If you're ever gonna work with it, it's gonna give you a pain in the behind. So let's push this cube up to here. So if you wanna make sure it's lined up, we can use this here. You see it's very close to the edge. So I think that's good for me. We're gonna right click, select face, click on it and make it, uh, let's go here so we can get a more accurate view. Let's say that's good enough for me. There, it's good right click object mode see so since it's on top of the box it won't interfere with me touching the coffin for no reason i'm gonna press r w r again and i'm gonna try to stretch that out as much as i can because i want it to outstand so we don't want it to outstand too much so maybe we can just let me see how much i'm giving here so let's say uh, it's a little bit too much so let's press w we, okay i think that's fine enough so now here comes the other part what we're gonna do is mesh to insert edge loop we're gonna click on the box for our options multiple edge loops make that one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one right in the middle so since we're trying to trying to make this one next, I'm not gonna make a whole different type of square. What I'm gonna do is select uh, the select tool. I'm gonna double click, like I said earlier, that selects that whole line. As you can see, it all turned um, cream or peach. Um, shift right click, and we're gonna put bevel edge. So with this option here, you get this little box option. We're gonna take the fraction little by little and get it as close as possible to what we want, which is about there. Um, 
and we're gonna add in one more segment just to make sure that we have something in the middle when we if we have that if we ever have to work which I'm gonna do here um, in the symmetry it's always good to have a division right in the middle because that's gonna help you guide uh, the rest of the work you're gonna do so for example let's just say I'm gonna do this long spot so I'm gonna use my angle camera here my perspective right click face one shift click so you click one and then shift click the second and let's say command E and we're gonna slide that right up here over the edge as much as we think necessary which I think that's just as close to that so here we go so now here um, we're gonna do the same thing face shift click command E and W and with that oh shoot so you see what happened here guys I selected a piece that I didn't want you won't see it there but if I get close enough to the bottom you'll see that I selected something that I don't want here we go you see the actual piece I don't want that so that's you know something we have to be careful with because eventually that'll give you bad geometry so we, again we're gonna click out one two make sure you don't see nothing here selected just the two edges here so now we're good I'm gonna press command E remember that's extruding press W and slide all the way down so once we get to here close enough I think that's good okay now this is the important part so when you press symmetry usually I use object X um, I'm gonna right click object mode um, let me move this down a little bit more. I'm gonna press W, click on the object and modify center the pivot. I'm gonna turn my shadow on, see how close I am, let me see. So if we see here, modify center pivot, press W, where's my pivot? Okay, so that's not, so here we go, so we're gonna take this, slide it down a little bit as close, so it doesn't go through, but it's just close enough, which is that, and that looks good. Now what I was saying before about symmetry, if I mesh tools, mesh tools, insert an edge loop, watch what happens. So I'm gonna click on this, and from the top, if I click on here, it's gonna happen on the same side to the opposite. So let's say, see, this happened because I didn't reset the tool, so I just put one right in the middle, which I don't mind. Let's just add one, two, three, four, just so so we have geometry. So let's say double click, reset the tool. Let's try this again. I'm gonna Alt and then zoom in, which is the right click tool. Most of you guys probably should know that that's. If you're looking at this tutorial, I'm hoping that you understand Maya. If not, I can do a real basic tutorial. So I'm going to click here and drag, and you're going to see it on the other side. So as close as I can here. I'm going to click one here um, as close as I can. I'm going to zoom out, zoom into the bottom, the bottom here, and click. So I'm going to click my uh, select tool. I'm going to object mode. And I'm, you see, I, I think this is too wide to be a bow, so I'm going to select my vertices, select it, press W, and get a tighter a tighter corner. I don't want it to be too thin either because then it'll, you know, it would be bad for, for when I, if, again, if we have to do add, uh, we have to, uh, if we have to, for whatever reason, um, lay out the UV and texture it that doesn't help so let's get this one a little tighter also okay so i'm happy with the result right click object mode let's see how that looks let's press command s i always do it before i do anything else select the whole thing edit delete by type history edit delete by type non-deformer modify Freeze transformations, modify sense of pivot. No issues here. Press Command S. So now we know that if we look at the picture, or if you've seen the movie, the pink uh, goes down, 
and then it continues to the bottom. So, um, so let's so let's show you how we're gonna take care of this. First, let's let's select the the lid and the and uh and uh the base. We're gonna right click, assign a new material, and we're gonna make this Amaya Fangi. So the difference between Lambert Fang and Fang E, Fang E gives you a whole bunch of options. For example, um transparency, ambient, um you get bump mapping, you get roughness. If I was to just click on Lambert, you don't get too many options. So that's why I go with that one because when I want to plug in anything that I do in UV or anything that I want to edit, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be um, easier to do. So I'm, again, I'm gonna right click, select it, right click, assign new material, and Maya, and let's go to Fang E. And it gives me all those extra options with the specular shading and all that. So you can see um, it, it's very different from the from the Lambert. You see how the shine goes through and the Lambert stays the same. Eventually we're gonna add a new material to this too. I might, yeah, let's do Fangi. Assign the material, Maya, Fangi. The reason I'm doing this is because let's say I want the coffin to be black and I assigned it one material. I can just make a black coffin. Right now I'm gonna leave it a little bit lighter so we can just work with uh with visually. Um now here let's say we want this to have that pink. I already had used it before, so I get that pink. So here we go. Maybe it's more salmon than pink, so let's work with this. So let's say um So let's go a little wider. Let's add a little bit more. No. Let's play with this and see what we get. So here we go. So maybe we make it a bit more. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. That's close enough to what I'm trying to get. So let's finish this off before we begin the bow. So I'm gonna hide my grid because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> so we're gonna select some faces here. We're gonna click on the, let me name this um, ribbon base. Ribbon base. So we're gonna separate this into base and bow. So this is the base, we're gonna click it. We're gonna face, and what we're gonna do is try to get the faces that we want to extrude down. Again, we're working in symmetry, so this is gonna help us a lot. We're, gonna have, we're not gonna have to do double the work. So okay, so this is one. So now we make sure that we didn't select nothing we don't want. We verify it here. We should be good. So let's go, guys. So first thing is, let's work at a front angle so we can see where we're going. So we're gonna press Command E W. We're gonna. Okay, sorry. So let me go back. So here, guys, when you do the extrude, you're gonna have to turn. Once you select everything, turn off the symmetry, um, and it's gonna centralize the the the, the, the pivot. Um, if you do it together, what you just saw is it's gonna push the whole cross down because it's doing it um, symmetry. It's not doing it um, the way I want it to do. So let's say it should work now. So see if I push this down, that's what happens, which is what we want to happen. But we don't want it this way. This is weird. So now we're gonna press Command E and then press W, and now we get that beautiful side thing going on. Now you see, I'm gonna stop here because then I'm gonna push in and push down. So I'm gonna go mesh tool, insert edge loop. I'm gonna turn back on the symmetry up here, and let's say I want one right here. We got that one, and let's see, I want another one. Okay, let me put an X-ray on this side so we can get what we're trying to get. So I want one here, and I want one here. So I'm gonna match it by looking at where the where it lines up in my my 
my front view so I think that's close enough so now I'm gonna select the face like I said earlier we're gonna try the face so we're gonna uh, zoom in as close as we can we're gonna take one face and it's symmetry so it's gonna select the other side let's get here and let's shift that face and let's twist around we're gonna separate these eventually because they're not stuck together but I'm just trying to make sure that they're as close to the to the to the coffin as possible so once I select them I'm gonna take symmetry off command E and I'll press R this is to scale it in and let's see how how we can get this without damaging anything so the idea is to get it in here so let's do it gently you're gonna get it to come right there which is fine so this is what I just did so you see every angle is gonna turn in eventually we're gonna we're gonna cut this piece off but we're just gonna use this to make sure that we are right along the side of the of the coffin you know we don't want it to so let's see I think I want it too much so let's see what happened what I did wrong okay so that's so let's see okay that's good enough um let's push it in it doesn't matter so again I'm gonna right click object mode click on it object mode, yep I'm gonna go to mesh tool insert edge loop uh, something's wrong this is not as deep as I wanted to go on these sides guys so here is fine but the sides are wrong so I'm gonna press that press Q take this turn the symmetry on and now the other side should also be selected so what's gonna happen is yeah you see the other side selected so now what's gonna happen is guys once I push one side in it's gonna go right against the other side uh, yeah here we go so let me take this and push this you know what this is off a little bit also so let me just get that close enough and then take these two corners and I want these to touch here see so now they're equally touching the inside of the coffin which is good for us um here the same thing you see I can take this and just push it out because it's too deep and I can also check here um, this is off a bit so we're gonna have to push this in a little more and then we edit it so let's get this close to the box and let's take this and push it out we should be good so yeah so everything's neatly tight around the box this one needs to do the same thing so let's push this take this edge and push it back out so let's verify one more time that it's close to the edge object mode and you'll see that the pink is right there close enough to where I want it to be and the sides also we're good so far so now that same face now we're gonna extrude it um, we're gonna insert should we we're gonna add uh, one in here uh, should we do that we should just come straight down you know what let's come straight down guys um, this is the good thing about working on the fly um, so let's say I want that face I want that face and I want these faces so from the top you should see that they're all selected okay this should work so let's uh, press command E command E press W um, and this is gonna go all the way down until it meets with this edge um, I'm gonna leave it here for a minute let me see something guys so I'm gonna leave it here if I'm not mistaken I, I don't think it goes below this section I think that's as far as it goes I'm just gonna verify why you guys are, can, can't see my screen so let's go to Google 
already was searching for a squid game coffin so yeah you see it stops right here this is what i was talking about when i memorized there's a chunk here and it stops so it doesn't go all the way down so we have this um, already done so we should be good now this separates guys so this is what is important i'm going to command s select everything edit delete by type in history edit delete by type non-deformer modify freeze modify center pivot and command s again or control s if you're on windows so i'm going to select that and press command one and it should isolate this so the pieces that we're going to delete now uh, is because uh there's something off here i think no we're gonna it's the so what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate um we're gonna delete this how should we approach this hold on so because when you lift up the lid there's a piece stuck to the lid and there's a piece of yeah there is something off i think so you see i got some slanting here i don't want that so i'm gonna right click press vertex i'm gonna take this select all those um the vertex and press r so they're straight same thing here press r so they're straight i believe these are okay they're not slanting no yeah these are slanting too so let's fix that we're gonna zoom out select all these vertices and press r this way i'm sorry press r this way it's gonna straighten it out select these and press the r this way and that's gonna be straightened out so now if we look at the edges they're perfectly straight there's no curvature no uh slanting let's command s right click object mode so now what we're gonna do is simply we're just gonna separate this right here so how do we do that it's gonna take a little bit of clicking but we should be okay so again command one so we're just gonna separate this so let me get out of here so you guys can see clearer so i'm gonna right click edge one two again i'm working in symmetry so you're gonna see that it's happening on the other side um let me just show you so just in case you have any doubts it's selecting on the other side so let's say see so if I, it's selected already so let's keep going so we're gonna go with we're gonna collect that one we click that one let's turn the camera shift click that one and we have one and then shift click this one so those are all selected on both sides you can see it here too so let's go to the other side so now here we're gonna take shift click shift click shift click now we're gonna go all the way to the bottom of the coffin do the same edges so we're gonna go shift click shift click and shift click now with all those selected shift right click we're gonna put detach components right here right click object mode click on the object and then press mesh separate now we have two separations we have the lid we're just going to move it and put it back and we have the base so let's fill up the holes because we're going to have some holes so first let's let's hide this one press h so you see we have holes that we need to fill because they're open so this is a, we're gonna approach this, uh, approach this a different way we're gonna click select edge one shift click right click bridge so same thing edge and right click edge one two bridge this side now we're gonna do the same thing click on it right click edge one 
to right click bridge perfect so that's settled so now we're going to take all these mesh combine because that's one group and we're going to come here press command one sorry we're going to unhide interesting that's very interesting what did I do guys command one one So for some reason, I'm trying to find out, I'm missing a piece of geometry. I hope I didn't delete it. And this should, oh, so there it is. I couldn't find it, sorry guys. The reason I, I press uh, delete by type history, free transformations, is to get rid of all this little extra stuff that stays, that stays behind most of the time. I get rid of that. So let's just do this easy way. I'm gonna click the top, command one. And we're gonna see what holes we need to fill. Here we are. So we're gonna collect edge. We're gonna bridge that. Again, since I'm working in our in in, GI, in our symmetry, that one's done. Same thing here. Uh, one shift click. Bridge. And now all the way down here, we're gonna go to the same thing. Edge one shift click right click bridge. So now here we go, guys. So command one, here we go. So we have everything here. So now we're gonna divide, we're gonna delete all this stuff and then we're gonna separate these into groups. Um, and then we're gonna bevel the edges on the pink before we start the bow. Now look at focus on here. Edit, delete by delete all by type history. You see, you got rid of all that trash. So you got type non deformer, modify freeze, modify center, and command S. So we have everything is clean. The ribbon base. We can ungroup. Um, you know what? We'll work with that later. Let's just get to the point. So, so far, so good. We have our coffin, we have our bow piece. Um, Okay, let's do this. Let's group these because this is going to be one group when I move them up and down. And this is going to be another. So let's press Command Group. We're going to take these two, Shift Select here, and Command Group. So Group 1, Group 2. Let's see if we're going to take off the lid. Voila. It moves with the, the, the bank from the top, moves with the with the lid and this one. So let's put coffin lid, lid group, and let's call this coffin base group. Command S again. Edit, delete by type history, non deformer, freeze center command s and so if we take the lid group bam it works for us so let's say if the person was taking off the lid putting it to the side and dropping it on the floor it's perfect so now command s command s we're saving everything as we work now we have to bevel these edges again because i'll press three for whatever reason i'm gonna do uh UV mapping, this is trash. It's not gonna work for you guys. So let's let me show you how to do this. Let's start with the bottom one first. I'll press Command One. So I'm gonna select the edges that I need for this. So is I'm gonna select all the edges and then just deselect what I don't need to make it easier. So right now I got all the edges that I do want. Shift negative, shift negative. I don't want those. Um, I forgot to fill a hole here. You guys see that? For some reason, that hole didn't fill up. So this is something I can address now. So edge one, 
that's strange you should have filled up with this one lesson of the geometry uh, symmetry so like edge one what's going on here a little extra okay sorry so one two bridge so that should always this is why I always turn my geometry around also because I like to see if something's missing before I get deeper into it so let's continue select all the edges shift select what you don't want um, shift double click so shift click I'm sorry it's gonna take off all the ones that I don't want here because those interior edges don't give me anything that I need so that's deselected let's go to the next piece one two three four five and six we just got the corner ones same thing here one two three four and then finally the base of it we should be able to bevel these edges again one two three four five four and this one here we don't need either so we have to be careful with that so we don't need this middle edge here to, to bevel for no reason whatsoever so these don't have it but this one does so i have to get rid of it so it's shift click i think i might have missed some more on the other one guys i'm sorry again this is the good thing about doing this live because you guys can see how easily anything can get missed and if you move too far along in your in your work um back tracing can be a pain in the behind so we're good there let me just check the base over here because i'm pretty sure i left a few Yo, you see guys this is why you always have to check your geometry when you're working or editing because it's that simple to miss um so i'm sorry so this is missing so now we have only the four edges that we need we're going to confirm this by bevel edging here we go add one segment um and we're going to fraction to 0.3 which i think should be okay and let's check all the corners making sure they're okay yeah you see nothing extra is beveled now everything's straight so we're good command one command s so here we go now here we're gonna do the same thing with this one this one's a bit more complicated so let's see if i can do it with the road symmetry road x edge so yeah so that's gonna work double click double click double click Double click so I'm just double clicking to make sure that everything that I need is selected um, we have to be very precise with this because if not you're gonna get weird stuff going on with your geometry so we're gonna do the, the, do the outside first outside and then we're going to the inside so outside we're looking okay I'm shift double clicking to keep adding on pieces so that's good that's good that's good again always check before you go anywhere else that what you're doing is working for, I'm doing the outside outside lines and I'll work on the inside for you guys double clicking click double click double click so now we're gonna start working into the inside so now let's double click shift double click you see the plus sign that means i'm holding out shift to keep adding on so don't ever panic so once you see that sh that I'm, I'm pressing double click while i have other angles selected it's because i have the the shift selected you'll see that as it and we, the plus sign shows you that i'm doing that 
So let's see though that anything that turns neg negative is already selected, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, everything right here selected. See this one was missing; it was still blue. That's selected. That's selected. All of this is selected. Yes. Here, let's look at the bottom of this. Here we go. You see this? Easy to miss. Easy to miss this. Then this. So right now, all these look. It's another piece missing here. So once all that is positive, you can see that I'm following that peach line all the way across, making sure both sides. Like I said, since I'm working in symmetry, they should be symmetry symmetrically selected. Okay, so we should be okay for what I'm seeing. Let me just check this bottom end here. Um, there's no extra blue, so shift, right click, bevel that edge, bam. We're gonna give it one segment, and we're not gonna do anything else because we don't want it to be too tight. Again, if we ever have to do um, UV in, now if I press three, watch what happens. You see, this here tells me that I missed some edges. Let me see if I'm correct. No, I did not miss. I apologize. Normally that happens, but I did not miss any edges. They're 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 beveled, so we're good. Okay, so we're good. Object mode, command one to show everything else. We're gonna go do the whole delete history. So edit, delete by type history. Non deformer, freeze, and center. So this stuff here that you see like this, you can get rid of it. Because it's not doing nothing but just holding up blank space in your in your in your work. So this is it. We have the base of the coffin. Um so let's get to the bow. This is gonna be a bit more complicated. So let's work at a different angle. I'm gonna press the space bar to the top. I'm gonna take these two blue and I'm gonna press H to hide them. So they're hidden. The cool part is, if you ever want to see something, H, H. Okay, now, let's look at these balls. So, we're going to make the center of the ball. Actually, you know what? No, let's work differently here. Let's work differently. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take a plane. We're going to get rid of everything here. object mode cool thing about Maya all I have to do is do one half and it'll flip it over when I'm done so it'll be symmetrically perfect so let's start here so this is gonna be a bit more uh, like this we're gonna take this we're gonna push it here we're gonna take both of them press R we're gonna flatten that take this press W Put it here. I'll move it down a bit. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shape here, the curvature. So let's start. So we're gonna mesh tool. Let's turn off the symmetry for now because we don't need it. Mesh tool, insert edge loop, and we're gonna take about six of those. You know what? Let's make it less than six, and I'll explain why in a minute. Let's make it. Four. We insert those four. Right click vertex. Now we're gonna drag these vertices to match as closely as possible to what we're trying to get. Don't worry about that curve right now. For now, we're gonna get rid of that in a bit. Um, we're gonna take this here, this here, this here, and this. Here. So we're gonna be smart when we work here. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna actually push it here. You know what, no, that's fine. We'll make this one a bit separately. So let's say this is the first piece. You see we have this shape here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this vertex, press W, we're gonna push it down here mesh tool insert edge loop double click it and reset it 
because right now we we're not working in pairs now so let's say one and two and three so now how does this work we're gonna give this shape here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up on these edges and or push down we will see how it's gonna work so let's take these vertices I'm gonna curve this out I'm gonna take this here I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna push this one out here let's get a little closer here and just separate these a bit so they're not that close and you know we don't get weird wrinkle geometry again there's many ways to do this guys this is just the way I want I choose to do it um, you can look online and see that there are probably many options on doing this but um, like you know mine is not the only way so don't worry about it so one you're gonna take this edge you're gonna press W you're gonna push that up because it curves down let's let's see the casket for a minute guys I'm sorry let's put this against the casket so we make sure that it's curves and it lays flat on the coffin lid so I just want to see the lid. I'm going to go to the plane. I'm going to pull it up, all the way up. And you see, right there is what we want. Now, we're going to take the rest of this and push it down. So we're going to go to a side view. And we're going to right click vertex. We're going to take this. We're going to push down. We're going to push this up a bit because this curves and it comes down to the lid so let's push this down a little more and then we're going to push this one down a little bit more that's fine i think so this is what we got guys um i think this should be a little closer to the box so let's push down i was letting myself be uh confused by the pink and not the actual the actual box so this is what we're trying to do so we're trying to get that curve there like I said like just like in the movie um, we can take this little corner and push it up because it's banging into the pink we don't want that and here we do want this let me see what we can do here so let's push this up a bit let's push this and press R so it can be completely flat we're gonna bring that we're gonna leave it there for now let's not go crazy because it's gonna go into a bow into this piece here so let's try this um i'm happy with that so let's press command s so let's take this um object move vertex so as you can see this part indents down so instead of you know let's just do this Let's push up. Let's push this down. Let's push this down. Um, I think that's pretty good. Let's press three to see what this looks like. So we can exaggerate it a little more. We can just bring this up a little more. This a little more. So what we're trying to do is see what it looks like when we smooth it out. So we're gonna push up. And we're going to push this up also a little higher. So as you can see, this is what we're getting. Let me see if I can push down on that more. Yeah, we can. And on here, we're going to push down a little more. So right now, what I made it to, what I did to make it look like this, I pressed the number three. In reality, this is what we have. Um, but if I press mesh smooth, this makes more sense now you see this makes more sense so even if it looks weird when you do it when you have it on number one something like this don't worry about that at all because now when you press like i said mesh smooth which is what we're trying to get at now we can take um let's give it a little more and this is what we get here bam so that looks very close to this 
you know what, let's go back and make it not so smooth. We'll work it out and then we'll double smooth it. So we're going to take the vertex here. We're going to start pushing these out to match the seam. This to match, let's grab this one. I don't know what happened here, but let's just take that. Push that in there. Let's push this out. Again, I'm trying to get it as close as possible to what we're trying to get. Um, this workflow sometimes helps you out when people can see that you can try when you're trying to follow instructions and you're, you know, paying attention to ma making sure that it's probably with the, what the person who's asking you for the work really wants. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I left this up for a reason because it's going to wrap around in there. So that's no problem. So now that it's smoothed out, we can take vertices and we can push up more if you want to give it a deeper look. Um, we can go a little higher here, a little higher here. All I'm doing is just basically moving the vertices to give it a rounder instead of that flat corner that you're seeing there. I'm trying to edge it up a little more so it's flowing. It's not just a, a square piece just hanging there. Um, you see it flows. It's not just, you know, it's going to flow straight. It's not just going to be this big curve up here. Um, so now, let's just say we're happy with this. Um, we can extrude it. So let me press mesh smooth to see what we get. I'm happy with that. That's a very good result. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to extrude it so it can have depth because it's not completely flat. So when I do that, I have to be very careful. And look, you see here? You have to be very careful with what you do. So let's press W in this case. So it goes straight up in the air. Here we go. So sometimes when you extrude and you use their extruding um, tool, it gives you a weird edge. And you see by me just pressing extrude and just W, it gives me a rounded edge all the way around. So now let's say I want this, I want to finish this off. I'm happy with this look. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to press, I'm going to uh, isolate it, command one. I'm gonna select the edges. I can do do two things here. I can do edges or face. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna select the face first to show you what happens. Just shift, click, shift, double click, bevel face. This is what we get. What we notice is that it doesn't touch your edges, so that's a problem. See, it touches around, but so we won't do that. The other options which I like more is edges. Like we've been doing all along, we just select shift select all the edges that we want, and then we have a few more here to select. So shift click, double click, double click. We have one more corner here, and now since we selected everything that we need, watch the difference. So before it selected the faces, but it didn't select those corners. But now, if we zoom in, I'm sorry and shift bevel that edge now we get that little edge selected add one more we can spread it a little more let's see how that looks here because I, I think i'm seeing some bad not bad but weird geometry no i'm good i'm good so when we press object mode voila now the cool part about maya also is let's say you this is called fang e2 since this is part of that, you right click, assign an exi existing material, Fangi tool. Great, we have the first piece. Now we can mirror it over by clicking here, which is the geometry across, mirror. Boom. It's too, f I mean, this is perfect. And here it says it's wrong. Um, but I rather have it perfectly geometrized. Um, so I, you know, when this does it, it does it properly. There's no foul up on this. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to command S. 
Now let's do the second ball. This the second one. Uh, you know what? Yeah. So let's do this one here because this one goes on top of on top and then near this one. So let's do that. This is gonna be a rough guess because it's underneath. Same thing. We're gonna take that a, po a polyplane. We're gonna hide all of this. Um, we're gonna just for, uh, focus on. We're gonna hide. God darn it. Um, we're gonna press W. Let's bring it to the top. This is exactly what I was talking about when I don't want when I pull it above the rest of the geometry so it doesn't uh, click on anything else that I don't want. So here I can click vertices. I'm gonna take all of these. W move it over so this corner goes here this one goes here this one goes here according to what I'm seeing and this one should go here select both R straighten them out so I want them here as close as possible so when I wrap around it they're hiding so let's just push this in a little more Okay, I'm happy with that. Again, we're gonna look at the situation. And this curves up and then down. So one thing, insert one edge loop right here. And we're gonna bring that up. And we take this edge and we're gonna bring that down because we know that this is gonna go here. And this is where you have to pay attention where we place things because this corner is fine, but this one's digging into the pink. We don't want that. So we're going to take a vertices and we're going to push it up right there. That's fine. So I think that this may have to be a little bit lower because I have it with this here. See, this is all my guide here so that's fine so just out of sheer uh, uh, to avoid doing extra work I'm gonna sh command D this and I'm gonna hide the first one and then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna work it to this one and this way I can have it set up when I go back so let's do that let's take this we're gonna put it one here that's fine one here one here and one right here where the curve is now again important make sure that you know how you're setting up your geometry before you do anything extravagant and you can't get it back now we're gonna unhide this one and we're gonna see how you see this is what we're trying to get. So we're gonna try to take this edge here. We're gonna, you know, let's go with vertices because the edge is gonna pull everything up. So we're gonna pull this one up on top of that. We're gonna take this vertice, vertices on top of that. Here we go. So this is what we get. You see, um, I'm gonna hide this one, work with this one, and then work with this one and accommodate it before I do the extruding so I'm gonna hide that one I just wanted to have it done I'm gonna sign in on um, existing material which is the fungi if you ever forget um, it'll tell you here when you click on a fungi tool so right here right click fungi tool here we go so now we're gonna work the same thing we did before we're gonna take this vertex press W all the way to here um one two so let's uh, one two three okay so much two and so edge loop we're gonna put let's say four again to make it smooth here um i don't think we need you know what yeah let's just add four here we're gonna play with this for a minute so let's put vertex w and we're gonna take this here this here, this here, we're gonna keep that one there. And we're gonna push this one so that it looks decent, no sharp corners. Um, here, it's not too much we can do here, so let's just 
at least give it a bit of curvature and then just let it be. Let's just give it a little bit of curvature. We're fine with that. Um, so you see how sharp that is? I don't want that. So I'm going to take edges now and I'm going to take this edge and push it. So that, sh that should be fine. It looks, you see, it looks nice and curvy. We can take this one and push it down if we want. Push it down if we want. So we should be okay with this. This is not a big deal. Now we want those little curves in here. So we're going to insert edge loop. Let's put four. Now this is where you have to be very careful. So we're going to take the edges that we want. One. So we're going to press W, push it down. You see how we get that nice little indentation in there? Let's take these two and push it up. Push that up. So let's see what we have. So let's mesh smooth. So this one is not that deep, so we're okay with that, you see. So now again, I'm happy with that one. There's nothing digging in where I don't want it to dig in. <coughs> so I'm press command E. W, like I mentioned earlier to you guys. Um, the W gives you sometimes a better result than the actual uh, um, extruding options so we're gonna do the edges again like we did before double clicking shift double click shift double click shift double click shift click shift click shift double click same thing here we're almost done sorry guys shift double click shift double click one and two and then bevel the edge bevel that edge add one and don't do anything else with the fraction boom so it seemed complicated looking at it uh, before but now this is good good for me um and i'm gonna flip it over object mode so this is what we have so far we have um, one more to go and we should be done with the bow you guys saw it look complicated but it's very easy so the final one this is why I did pre pre work bam is this one now this one you see you have to be real careful now when we add the edges and we smooth this out so we're gonna take a vertex we're gonna take this one we're gonna W to push it above this one and I think that's good enough here we're gonna, we're gonna take this up. We're gonna take this one up a little bit also. Um, and then we're gonna take this one. We're gonna push this down to here. And this one I think we're fine. So that's fine. And then here. Um, I don't think there's, you know what, this is really, let's look at this from the top, guys. So here, we're going to take this and hide it so we can see our line here. Um, let's reverse this out. So we did that, we did that, we did that, that's hiding. Um... So this one has two. Okay, this is gonna be a bit more complicated, so let's get to work. So mesh two um insert edge loops. We're gonna go to one. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that actually worked out, no problem. Um let's add four. Sorry. Let's add four more and four here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to smooth the outside look first so let's do that
so let's take this this one goes here this one goes here right here and right here now here we have and this is the problem with this this is a bad resolution image but we can still make it work if you're willing to challenge yourself you can make this work so let's just make this work so we're gonna go here we're gonna take this one it's too sharp I don't want that like that let's just push it down let's push these up a bit and then push this last one here again right now I have to eyeball some of this because uh, of the fuzziness and the low resolution of the image but there's nothing we can't handle you know if you're willing to create something you'll see past the impossible so let's just push this one here and push this one down we should be okay now here we have some overlapping which we don't want so let's work on this let's take these two more in here so they're close you see they're close but they're not uh so this is what we want here let me cut this down a little more that's fine that's fine here we're gonna have a bit of an issue so we're gonna have to work on this so how do we approach this let me see what's going on on the outside I wouldn't worry so much about that right now then for what I'm seeing let me just push this edge down because it's too tough um, it's too rough so let's just worry about that more than just so here you see these edges we can actually take advantage of push, pushing the vertices down maybe you know what let me just see something because I still have these hiding let me just make sure that I'm not enter oh, okay see we're good that's what I wanted to make sure that I wasn't digging into this one so we're gonna take this one vertex we're gonna get as close as we can when I actually see we, we can get that close and we're good we can get that there and we can push that one right there <clears throat> okay so now let's do the indentations that we need before we actually extrude again so we're gonna take here we're gonna push well, uh, that one south so let's push these down just to see what we get out of this so we can push uh, we know guys it's not gonna work let's push the surrounding areas up so let's start with this side we're gonna push that up push him up push him up um we're gonna have to bevel this edge so let's anyway let's just push that one up and that one up we're gonna bevel two edges that we're gonna need eventually because um we're working now with two folds instead of a single one and it, we're gonna need it to be right so let's just look at this from this angle you see you always have to twist the camera to see what you're getting um so let's just click that one push that one up up so i mean you know it's all how you interpret the actual design so i can double click this reset it and i can add one here and i can add another one one two Let me try one here let's see what we get out of this so let's take the vertex here let's two three we're gonna push those up because we have a fold on the outside so now we get a fold in here which we can actually take this and push it in to give us more of a something like that and then this one so that's one indentation 
And then this one we can push down maybe. Let's see what this looks like. Curve that up more. I'm gonna curve that one down. Push that one down. I think I'm happy with this guys. I'm not gonna go too overboard trying to perfect it. Um because we got a nice curvature going here. If I push this one here down, it's perfect. Uh, see that one has to be there. This is what I'm trying to accomplish is making sure that we're close but not damaging. So I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna press mesh smooth. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. Um, so let's take this edge here. One, two, double click. I'm gonna press W so I can get a better representation of that. Uh, take a vertex. Vertex, yeah. Um, I think I'm very happy with this. I'm not gonna go like I said too crazy. I'm just trying to. I'm a nitpicker, so but I think I'm happy with that. Yes. So I'm gonna press Command E. W, like I always tell you guys, it depends on the situation when you extrude, but this is fine. And I'm just gonna isolate this, do the edges, and we should be done. So, Command 1, take the edge, 1, 2, double click, double click, click, double, double click, click that corner. Shift double click, double click, shift double click, one, two, and everything that I need is here, like we did before, bevel edge, add one segment, um, you can make it a bit bigger if you want, it doesn't matter in this one, command one, ladies and gentlemen, and we have the uh, almost done, we're going to assign the material fungi to, bam. Now we're gonna flip this one over. Um, it's called mirror geometry across the axis. Um, here we go. Now all we need is one piece, guys, which is that little piece here, and we should be good to go. Simple. Take this, bring it all the way up. Press E, hold down J to turn in increments. So one, two, three, four, five. That should be perfect. We're gonna. R scale it down, bring it down with W. Let's see where we are. So, here you can see that I need to bring it. I think that's fine. We're gonna press R here. You know, before we do that, um, let's add more edges to it because it's gonna be really rough. Um, I'm gonna tell you what happens. So, let's say if I do this. It'll add the edges fine, you can see that. However, if I stretch it and then I do this, sometimes it'll fall apart. We don't want that. So let's just say let's do it ahead of time. Press R, get a little cross here. Um, you know what? Let me see if we can minimize this. This is the reason I'm saying this, guys, is because I'm seeing that it's cutting into here and I'm gonna have to well, edit those edges and I don't want it to be too many that I have to edit so let's see so now let's look at it from the side we're gonna press R because this is a bone we're gonna extrude it so don't worry about what I'm you know what it looks like right now I'm gonna cut and work around with these vertices but I think this is good. Um, I should bring it up. Uh, I'll, I'll edit it. The edges, don't worry about it. The vertex. vertex. So, we're going to object mode, vertex, and now we're going to turn on symmetry because we're trying to make sure that when we do this, oh, okay. 
So what we do is what we're trying to do is have this each side match. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say this goes down. No, that one stays there. Let's say this one goes a little lower. This one goes a little lower uh, here. I'm going to push this one down a little more. The point is to make it look like it's wrapping around the bow without having too much excess. That's the point of what we're doing here. But even here, if we see, um, it's cutting into this one. So we need this to push out to like about there. And then this, we're going to have to little by little curve it. So it doesn't look too, we're going to get rid of some faces too, so don't worry about it. But for now, this is what we're trying to get. Um, and we want it to come up because it's, uh, you know what, we don't have to worry about, about it coming up right now. We're fine. So let's see, that's good. We're happy with that. We're going to isolate it here. And um, so let's press command one. I'm sorry. Command one. We're going to take these faces we don't want, delete those, object mode, command 1. We're going to take these vertices and we're going to try to get it to act like it's stuck to the box, but not quite because we have to extrude some of it and give it some thickness. So let's say this is good. Let's say that's good. Here. Um. And yeah, let's flatten these out. We should be okay. Let's say because let's just say that that's gonna be stuck to the box. So now with that, we're gonna go mesh smooth. So we get a nice smooth piece, and now we're gonna extrude it to make sure it touches here, and it looks like it's actually tying the bolt together. So we're gonna go Command E. Um, we're going to offset it if I'm not, no, I'm sorry, thickness. So we're going to give it some thickness to it touches the box. Um, you can see we're going to have to adjust some of it here. Because it's loose, if you can see it's a bit loose. We can do one or two things. We can push this, which I think is what I would rather do, than to mess with this. Uh... Yeah. Um. So is it both supposed to be thick or some some here? I'm lost somewhere. Okay. So let's. Something's wrong here. Hold on, guys. So I placed the bow incorrectly. It's supposed to actually be here. That's why I'm getting that weird overlap. Now we can. Uh, huh. So let's see what we can do with this. So what we're going to try to do is, we're going to try to take some of these and push them in to the, into the actual, uh, huh, this is interesting guys, we just hit a dilemma. Let's see how I fix this. So let's just push this out. And we're going to push the other ones in little by little to see what happens. See how it's looking. Sorry, guys. Again, this is one of the good things about doing work live because eventually you're gonna hit spots that you're gonna need to troubleshoot. Um, and the best way to resolve it is on the fly. Um, and I'll leave you guys with any questions. The other thing that I can do is I can <laughs> interesting. Okay, let's try something else. Let's take the vertices of this one and let's move these around, see if we can make it look like it's actually thicker, guys. So let's let's see what we get. Maybe this will work better. Yep. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to manipulate around without destroying the bow 
because it doesn't make sense that we work so hard on it and then it's destroyed so we're gonna just modify around the bow and uh, so I think that's good I think that's good we have to bring these up I'll bring that up bring that out so see so eventually it's just more about just push to some more so that has to really be there um, for it to make sense so let's take this one here and push that down here push this one here push this one here So you see guys, sometimes once we do things, we have to work around it and manipulate it for it to make sense. Um, again, it's never perfect, but again, if you're willing to try to work on it and and get, you know, resolve your issues, it, it'll work, you know. Um, zoom in here and get closer, sorry guys. I didn't expect for this hiccup to happen, but it's good so we can face it together, um, which is good because now it looks like we can handle the, the situation with the bow better. So now if I take this down here and push down, it makes more sense that the bow is wrapped in there then it's just you know um let's just give this more curvature i know it's not probably what we were trying to do but it's fine because nobody's gonna see what's in here anyway um as long as it looks like it's wrapping around the bow we should be okay same thing here we're gonna take this edge push up Push up, push up, push here. Again, basically what we try to do is make it look as close as possible that it's wrapped around the bow. So let's push this closer down. No, something's happening up here, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna take this one down, push it over. So we're just gonna hide it in there guys. We're not gonna go too crazy with this. Let's finish adding these up. So let's see how we handle the rest of this and we should be um, almost done. So here we go. So we're gonna push this down. Again, the point is that it looks like it's tied around the bow. Um, we're not having any issues here. Um, I mean, I think that's fine. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. So we have one thing left to do. We're gonna assign the material. And we're gonna isolate, command one. Um, take the edges and, and, and bevel them because it gives it a better look. Bevel edge, we're gonna press command one to see how it looks. And we're gonna fraction that out and add some you know what, let's just try something real quick. So that's not gonna work. So let's check the edges again. Okay, let's try this. Let's freshen it out as a 
object mode, command 1, we're going to press mesh smooth, and we should get something decent. Okay, it's not perfect guys, but at least if you were trying to get this done for the um, for your scene, it's done. Here it is complete. Actually, the box should be complete. This should be black. So let's make this black 100%. Um, so let me show you guys something. So you see, it's, it has gloss on it. We can make it even even more glossy. But in the movie, it wasn't that glossy. So what you want to do is you want to select it, and then the the roughness. Watch what happens. You can either make it not so rough or a little bit which I think that's fine here um, because you do get some kind of shine but you don't get too much so now I'm gonna do the oh, I'm sorry edit so you go type history edit non-deformer Research transformation center pivot I'm gonna save it one more time and then I'm gonna show you guys something really cool so what I'm doing this for is I'm gonna um, let me just group all of these make it into the bow so that's the bow so now I'm gonna do that former freeze center command or control s now watch this so i'm gonna press command copy i'm gonna open my scene that i really want to add this on to and watch how cool this is guys you guys are gonna flip when you see this this is where eventually i am gonna place the coffin now so you guys can see where it goes i have the little truck here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it across here. So let's do that. Anything that you see in red is lighting. So if you're curious as to how this looks when it's lit, let me show you before I place my coffin. Let me command S. I always say before I do anything. And let's press play. So you guys can see what I'm getting. Bam. This is what we're going to do. So now... This is what I'm working on. I actually am almost finished. I'm adding, adding the coffin as the last touch. Um, again, if I get 100 likes or more, I'm going to add the, the straps that go on the actual rope. Um, so this is what that's looking like. So let me show you what it is when I do the coffin. So let's say I want the coffin down here. I'm going to press Command V. Bam, it brought it in from the other one. I'm going to take this here. Now this is very, so I'm gonna let me see what happens. So it's on the floor, I went through the floor, sorry guys. So the good thing is I already made it the way, in the correct position, so I want it on the truck. I'm gonna press F to zoom into that, R to make it small. Press W, so F, and I'm gonna rotate around it to see how that looks. And I'm going to look at it from the top also to see where I'm placing it to make sure it's dead even on the truck. On the forklift, sorry. So that's fine. So let's make it a bit smaller because the human is not that huge. Let's say this is good. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to place one here. And it should be okay centered with the truck. So we should be okay. And now actually I'm going to bring it all the way down. So I want to make sure it's on this. So let's do this by looking at a different angle. Where's my wrong angle? Let's look at it from this angle. And this should help. Yep. So here we go, guys. So now we want the coffin here. We're going to take this. We're going to drop it down on it. And just lay it right there. Um, I'm going to put it right here. So now, if you guys you guys want to see how that looks, this is what it's going to look like if I give you a quick render update. Click off. And let me render this so you guys can see it. 
it's shifting up the lighting from the rest of the scene and it's gonna look pretty pretty dark. Yeah, basically I have to add the lights to those little gray pieces that you see here so it's turned on. But this works for me. This really works for me. Um, this pink salmon color, I'm going to have to sample it and add it here. So the way we do that is, then it goes to Render, Viewport. So this color, I can add it. Um, so how do I do So I have it here. So let's say this is... If I want to replace this pink with this salmon, this is what's cool again about Maya. It's called Pasted Fungi 5. So if I take this, assign an existing material, and put Pasted Fungi 5, voila. Matches perfectly with that. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see anything done, feel free to um, message me or ask me and I'll show you guys how to do it. If I go too fast or I mumble sometimes, please let me know. But thank you again and have a great night, guys.